This is Chris Schaefer. Happy Earth Day 2014, and good morning. I was uh, throwing back my traditional shot of espresso before breakfast this morning, thinking about this tamper and thinking about Earth Day. And I thought I'd make a good illustration and an opportunity for us to look under the hood a little bit at a really neat little tool built into SOLIDWORKS. Every seat of SOLIDWORKS has this tool called Sustainability Express, which gauges the uh, changes I make uh, and its impact on the environment. So changes to how it's manufactured, changes to the materials I use, and then we're looking at the impact on the carbon footprint, um, on damage to the air, damage to the water, on those types of things. Uh, and it's a neat little tool, and it is free, as I mentioned, because uh, every seat of SOLIDWORKS has it. But we're going to take a look at this assembly, because one difference between Sustainability Express and the full-blown sustainability tool is the ability to take a look at uh, our assemblies and how they go together and the overall impact that the whole package has on the environment. So let's just start off with a single part. And since it is Earth Day, I thought this is really quite apropos. I'm, I might make this simple turned part uh, at a local shop, and they're going to give me the finished part. Um, but I might want them, instead of using stainless steel, to use a different material. I want to see what happens uh, to the end of life, what happens to um, the effect of the environment if I machine this out of aluminum, for example. Or maybe I'm going to make it out of a very durable resin, a plastic of some type, and I'm going to mold it. I'm going to try to mold those threads in. That, that kind of decision, that manufacturing type decision, has an impact on the environment. So I have to start thinking about who my customers are, how they're going to use it, um, what kind of cost I'm going to incur based on how I manufacture it, as well as what's going to happen when this thing is done being used. What are they going to do with it? Are they going to throw it in a landfill? Or are they going to give it to their grandchildren? I don't know. I need to think about those things. So I'm going to come up to my Evaluate tab here in the Command Manager, and off to the right you'll see Sustainability. This is, again, Sustainability Express because I'm working uh, inside just a single part file. But you'll find the mechanics of this tool to be quite similar in both the Express package as well as the full-blown package. So some things I can change. Well, I can take a look at the steel that I'm using, and we'll change this to our chrome stainless steel, which has 18% recycled content. What's happening behind the scenes is Solid Sustainability is looking up some numbers for us, and as we start setting this material and then changing it down the road, we can see the impact on our environment. So I'm going to set this as a baseline. This is a value I'm going to work from. That resets everything, and then I can start making some changes. So for example, I'm going to manufacture it in North America, and then I might also want it to be sold and distributed in North America. And how is it going to be distributed? I have to think about that. That's a business type decision that has an impact on the environment. I, I've had mine a for 16 years, so there's no reason why I wouldn't have it for 20 years. So our end of life is 20. And this is going to be milled, or it's going to be machined, or it's going to be forged. Um, what is this? Well, we're going to say it's a turned part. Okay. So there's an energy consumption associated to that. And uh, we're going to be running electrical tools, so we can see the energy impact on that. There's no paint, uh, where it's being used, and then how it's going to be transported. Okay, so again, the mechanics of a part versus an assembly are, are very similar. Let's take a look at what happens when we get into sustainability at the assembly level. Here we see the full-blown assembly. It's pretty simple. We have a wood-turned part that has a brass insert, and I'm expecting the guys that are going to make the handles for me to put that brass insert in there, so the burden is on them. But you know, if we ever switch to uh, a solid piece design, maybe another machined piece, so I don't have to have a two-part design, I'm going to take a look at what kind of impact that has. Again, we're going to use our sustainability tool to look at that impact. Now these four categories, carbon, energy, air, and water, again is the impact on carbon-like emissions, so that could be carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, uh, the amount of energy consumed in the process, not just for the piece part process, but also the assembly operations. This is all done by hand, so there's not much energy consumed from that regard. And then the effects on, on air sheds and water sheds, the quality, uh, the amount of acids that are present uh, because of chemical compounds or production methods. But again, we're going to be changing things about the process, much like we did with the single part design, but it's going to affect the entire assembly. Um, if we make this last, again, just 20 years, 
uh, and the energy required for the assembly process, what kind of impact does that have? That's a good process, a good change for us. We're using electricity. Uh, maybe we'll adjust this to eight and a half uh, kilowatt hours. It's kind of high, but uh, we can see what kind of impact that has. Not good. Not good as the energy uh, consumption goes up. It's going to be used. In other words, it's going to be sold and used here in North America. And we're going to not require any energy needs. It's a, a handheld tool. It doesn't require any electricity or what have you. But we're going to distribute it through our network of salesmen uh, who are going to be traveling on the road, going door to door, knocking on your door soon, saying, hey, if you drink espresso, would you please consider using one of Chris's tampers? Uh, end of use, recyclable content, how much has to be destroyed and how much has to be thrown away. Uh, we'll just change this to a 1%, that Delrin knob inside there. Uh, could be recycled, but maybe some people are going to throw it away. Uh, these are actually replaceable inserts, so you can get custom ones. That's kind of neat. That might be part of our business, our business model that we're going to follow. And we can see, all again, all the impacts that we have as we start um, start changing these. Now, I'm going to use this pretty frequently. Matter of fact, I drink coffee a lot. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do um, two an hour. I'm sorry, two, uh, one every two hours, pardon me. Well, let's just do one an hour then. Okay. And again, this can be set as a baseline. So as we start changing things, so for example, let's, uh, let's go and edit our, our maple handle, right? It's our maple handle, and we can change that material maybe to a resin. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll change that to, um, an ABS polycarb. So that material has changed now, and when we take a look at sustainability, things need to update, and we'll see the impact that that change has if we were to make this out of a clear plastic like that. So there's a sneak peek of what's under the hood inside SolidWorks Sustainability. If you have any questions, please do contact us at Graphic Systems.